okay uh, in this one i just made a small error uh, when this electron uh, which is in n type which is a majority charge carrier when it is when it tries to move from n to p type so when it will enter in this region uh, where positive and negative charges ions are there and electric field is established uh, it will face a force in this direction so uh, this is in uh, n type this is majority charge carrier when it is trying to move from this side to this side there will be force in opposite direction and it will be very difficult for electron to move but some of the electrons will have sufficient energy such that it is able to move from here to here so when electron is moving in this direction current will be in opposite direction and that current will be known as a diffusion current now diffusion current is due to motion of majority charge carriers due to motion of major majority charge carriers okay. uh, next is your drift current now in p type there are also electrons as you can see here i have drawn some electrons majority are holes but some electrons are there so uh, this electron uh, when it try it comes in this region closer to this region there will be force on uh, this electron due to this electric field that force will be in this direction okay because of this force this electron will start moving from p to n type so when this electron is actually moving in this direction one second Uh, this electron is actually moving from p to n type let's say in this direction that will be direction of motion of electrons so direction of motion of current will be in opposite direction so this will be known as a drift current and drift current okay here electrons were uh, minority charge carriers because they were, they were in less amount in p type so drift current is due to motion of minority charge carriers so we can define drift current as these are due to motion of minority charge carriers okay now initially the diffusion current is very large and it will decrease with time now as the electric field starts getting more uh, there will be more force on these electrons and these electrons will start moving from here to here means a drift current will start increasing after a certain time your drift current will become equal to diffusion current so at that time uh, equilibrium will be established okay at that time uh, this region will have attained a certain thickness one second Uh, this region where positive and negative ions are there they would have it would have this certain thickness and this region will be known as depletion region okay depletion layer or depletion region so n type p type uh, uh, what do you need to remember in all these is uh, what is the direction of electric field okay and what is depletion region so when we have p type and n type semiconductor so let's say this is n type semiconductor this is p type semiconductor between uh, these two semiconductors a depletion region is formed such that electric field is from n to p so electric field will be directed from n to p in a pn junction and this region will be known as depletion region okay that's all